uh, we'd already started our season, and he because we were on a term base at Michigan State, and we'd already played a game or two, and I was out in the stadium uh, early, and this young man came out. He, he had hair down to his shoulders and looked like he weighed 130 pounds, and he had a pronounced accent. He, he was from Holland, and, and uh, he says, Are you the coach? I said, Well, I think I am. I said, There's a difference of opinion among some quite, but I think I am. He said, uh, What are those things you put up the goalposts? I said, You put me on? He said, No. He said, I said, well, he said, I've never seen a football game. He said, I'm a soccer player. I said, well, we use those to kick field goals. And he said, what's a field goal? I explained that. What's an extra point? And after I explained it, he said, I can kick the ball of that. I said, well, I said, we'll give you a chance. So I, I got a manager. I said, go get a sack full of footballs. And then I got a reserve center and quarterback to hold the ball. And I had him kicking the ball. And he was just barely, we started to kick an extra point. He just just touched the ball and just barely go over the goal post. And I said, uh, Dirk, I said, is that as hard as you kick it? He said, are they going over? I said, yeah. He's, I said, well, let's move back 10 yards. So then he'd kick it a little bit harder, and they'd go over. And we move back another 10 yards, he'd just kick a little harder yeah. each time, yeah. which is foreign to the way you coach kickers. You tell them to kick the same rhythm all the time. Yeah. But he didn't. And I said, well, I said, Dirk, I said, you look like you're a good kicker, and you could be a good uh, field goal and extra point kicker. I said, I'm going to have to check on your eligibility. He said, what's eligibility? I said, well, I'm going to have to check your transfer. He's a college transfer from Holland, from the Netherlands. I'm going to have to check and, and see if you meet the requirements. And, and I said, you come and see me again tomorrow morning, and if you do, we'll put you on your junior varsity. He said, what's the junior varsity? So he kept, I said, never mind, I said, just show up. So then we had him kick with JV a couple of times, and he didn't miss any extra points. So the, against Purdue, we beat Purdue, but our extra point kicker had missed two extra points and missed a field goal. So we're going to play Ohio State. So I announced the squad on Monday that we were going to let Dirk Kreit kick against Ohio State. And we, you know the story he did. He kicked four field goals the first half, and but after the game, we won the game. Though knocked Ohio State out of the number one position, they were on, in national television. They having a press conference after the game, and this is an hour after the game. And I think our players are long gone from the locker room. And in around the corner in the locker room, there were had the, they used to have the conferences. Came this little kicker, with a smoking a cigarette, and I was hoping he says, "Coach, he said I'm going to go out and have a few beers and go out with the girls." He said, "Do you want to come along?" I said, "No, no, no." I said, "You go have a good time." So. One of the local news media men said, Duffy, he said, uh, I think it was Bob Horner at that time, he said, uh, uh, Duffy, he said, isn't that your Dutch kicker? And I said, yes. So, so some other newspaper man says, what kind of training rules do you have? I said, well, we got a new one now. I said, anyone who kicks four field goals in one half is allowed to d smoke cigarettes, drink beer, and go out with girls. <laughs>